We are learning more about this nasty spill near the plaza this afternoon. A truck rolled over and spilled cooking oil into Brush Creek. Now, besides the mess in the creek right now, a bad smell is filling the plaza area right as people head home. KCTV 5's Ashley Arnold is live near Roanoke and Ward Parkway. And Ashley, you've learned this cleanup could take hours. Yeah, it could take hours. I know I was just speaking to uh, Deputy Chief James Garrett. He was saying that this cleanup could go definitely into the night. I'm going to step out of the way so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, it's quite the scene out here. Crews are still working to get everything cleaned up after a truck carrying some used cooking grease somehow ended up on its side, sending all of that into the Brush Creek. Kind of floored us, to be honest with you. We weren't sure what it was, but uh, it's, it's a mess. It looks like it's going to be a mess for a while, so it's a lot of work to get, get it cleaned up. But, man, crazy. Crazy to see that much cooking oil. Now, fire officials say there are hazmat crews out here as well as trucks that will help with getting the grease skimmed off the top of the creek. Buoys are placed on the creek to try and contain it and keep it from going downstream. And according to Garrett, it has been contained. And they say they believe they have about three quarters of this grease picked up. Now, at this point in time, officials aren't concerned about it being a fire hazard, but are trying to get things cleaned up as quickly as possible from the creek and on the road. Really, no danger at all, uh, except for again getting the grease all over the road, getting all in your cars, and spreading it around everywhere. All right, now that driver is in serious condition. They aren't really sure about what happened and how it kind of got to that point. You can still see the truck that's there. Brooks Grease Services, the company that was responsible for this, they say they're actually going to be hiring a contractor to help with this cleanup. Now, as far as what's going to be closed down, Roanoke is the road behind me where this incident took place. A fleet, excuse me, fire officials say that's probably going to be closed down for the rest of the night. So if you're going to be traveling out here, you definitely want to make some time to figure out another way around. But for now, live at Brush Creek, Ashley Arnold, KCTV. Five News.